the big screen phone we never thought Apple would make that is iPhone 6 Plus. This is AG Mobile Tech's quick look at the new handset for all those that just can't wait to get a look at the new model check back in a few hours for the full and in-depth iPhone 6 Plus hands-on review. The iPhone 6 was a phone we all expected to see for the last two years. But only recently did I really start to think Apple might join the fuddle it race too. The new iPhone 6 Plus is a phone that might not make a lot of sense to some people after all. It's basically the iPhone 6 with a larger screen and a better battery, but at the expense of pocket ability. But that overlooks the bigger picture, this is a phone that's about choice, sure, but also servicing the exploding smartphone market in Asia, where bigger better when it comes to smartphone screens. Specs are also key issues too, but Apple's proven its tag, as a luxury brand can help it get past that handicap. That said, the iPhone 6 Plus is no slouch in that department either with its A8 processor, 5.5-inch 1080p screen, upgraded battery which offers 80 hours of standby and all new design, to match the iPhone 6, it's a decent proposition. Okay, it doesn't have the same octa-core power Samsung is touting around, but then again the iPhone has never been about specs, instead focusing on the user experience. In the hand, it's definitely big. That feels weird for an iPhone, and EOS stretched to the size feels odd. I know that it's not that far off iPad mini level, but there's something in most people's heads that marks a boundary between tablet and phone, and this device blurs that. The fact the home screen has a landscape mode shows that this is equal parts tablet and smartphone something I didn't expect from Apple. That said, the super slim dimensions it's only 7.1mm thick mean it feels amazing and light, that the larger screen balances it all out well in the palm. You definitely have to fiddle around with it, to get to all the corners of the screen, but it's a worthwhile trade-off to get a big screen iPhone, if that's what you've yearned for. Let's move on to the camera. This is another good example of Apple splitting its strategy well, and making use of the extra space on offer with the bigger screen. Like the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 Plus has an 8 megapixel sensor with improved eyesight and the ability to record in 240fps slow-mo, and it's a very adept camera at that, with the larger screen providing a very good viewfinder, without straying into tablet territory. However, the big change here is the use of optical image stabilization, rather than the digital method used on the iPhone 6. This means that images are clearer, less blurry and can even take in more light thanks to being more stable when pressing the shutter button. I get the feeling the iPhone 6 Plus won't even come close to the sales of the iPhone 6 in the Western world, being seen as a bit too big compared to the compact pocket ability of the smaller new model. But this won't bother Apple, as long as it does well in other markets, where big screens are king. And the iPhone 6 Plus is still a very good device in its own right, it just depends, on whether you want your phone to have as large a display as possible. With tweaks like optical image stabilization, it's a really good device in its own right. It's certainly not just a bigger iPhone 6. It will be more expensive sadly so you'll really want to use the features the larger screen and battery offers, but if you've been eyeing Samsung's Note series, with increasing lust in the last few years but hate the complexity, this is a great alternative. Keep subscribing us viewers. By hitting the subscribe button,